So what are things you want to say about downside of living here? Transport sucks. Yeah. No nightlife. Yeah. No stores. Yeah. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'll be talking about all the questions that you guys had about my experience in Grandfield up till now and there were many more questions about the part time um, about how the classes have been held at Grandfield, and so on so stay tuned for all the questions being answered in this video so let's go by step by step so the first question being asked about what are the class timings for mim students so for mim students it's from 8 30 in the morning up till 12 30 in the noon so if it's a morning lecture if it's an afternoon lecture it's from 1 30 to 5 30 pm so it depends like uh, total number of mim students has been divided into two equal groups and uh, some students have the morning slots some have the afternoon and it eventually rotates every week and uh, the frequency is like uh, three to four days a week in term one we mostly had like a four days week, a week class but in term two it was like three days a week or sometimes four days a week so it totally depends and up till max it's a four day a week class so talking about my experience in terms of studies so like in Grandfield every module is well defined I like how the every module structures goes the teachers are really very good and at the end of each module we have a game session night like uh, not a night like a day event and uh, in that game session we are given a stimulator and uh, you know what we have been taught and what's its practical use in the real world it's been taught to us and after that the assignments which i really like like not in india that we used to copy the assignments that's not the case in uk you can't do it because of the plagiarism and uh, the assignments are so beautifully designed that you have to study each and every um, you know module given in the course and you have to go through each and every chapters you have to tell out the details you have to uh, learn the concepts to com complete the assignment so this is one of the main learning thing i you know appreciate here in uk and i really like this method here as it has been teaching me about how to do research how to write the assignments beautifully and so on so in study wise i'm really liking it uh, the grand field infra infrastructure is also really good the classes are really modern and so on so two of my roommates are here to discuss and uh, be on my video for the popularity <laughs> So I was discussing with them. <laughs> no, no. I was discussing with them the downside of Cranfield. Hello. Hello. Say hi to my audience. Hi. What are you doing? Cross pollination. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys feel about the downside of living in Cranfield? So Milton Keynes is a dead city. You don't find any people there okay so if you think like you will enjoy in milton Keynes, it's wrong <laughs> <laughs> so the good thing about grand village it's very quiet you will love peace you'll enjoy here uh, basically if you're like a quiet after person six months you will get changed like yeah it's like um i don't get bored here it's nice it's beautiful everything is beautiful but yeah it would be really helpful if there would be more stores if um, um yeah like he said uh, uh, the nearby cities are also not that good in terms of social life so if you really want the social life which you see in movies then go to London yeah or so, Nottingham yes so basically there are two sides uh, to compare someone is liking it someone is not and I'm you know being a neutral that it's just a um, time of one year you have to come here and study and uh, after that you can move so about the studying part it's just a one year so you can cope up with that and uh, the next question being asked about the part-time jobs so part-time job in Cranfield I must 
say that when you are coming here uh, in September, start applying from right there. I worked in Domino's. Actually, we both worked in Domino's for two months, uh, and we started early in October. And we just went to the store, asked them if the part time was available. They were like, "Yeah, there are two seats available. You guys can come in." So yeah, we went there and uh, we started working. And after two months, we left Domino's because they weren't giving us the hours. Like we can complete up to twenty hours a week, and we were not getting hours. Like they were just giving three hours a week, or five hours a week. So it. It wasn't a constant uh, at all so we thought of leaving it after leaving Domino's we tried to apply some jobs in uh, December and January period and we got many rejections from part time I don't know why um, maybe it was a holiday time uh, most of the vacancies were filled at that time after that we didn't uh, feel like applying to part time jobs we felt like uh, in term to uh, our uh, schedule is going to be hectic so let's concentrate on um, the studies and yeah that was my experience now my roommate Unmesh he's been working in Amazon uh, for how much time started in November okay uh, like after one or two months I started so mm -hmm. I'm working it's been like five or six months the pay rate is good but the work is very harsh yeah so in warehouse you in the, the good point about Cranfield is in Milton Keynes there are a lot of warehouses which hire people so, uh, especially in Christmas time and the Easter break so the pay is very good so if you continue to do hard work you can easily survive on your part-time and you can save some amount as well. So how much you are getting for your part-time right now? Mm, so I'm getting around like 14 pounds per hour. So I get like 8 hours shift for 2 weeks. Uh, sorry, uh, twice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in a week he goes uh, 2 times a week and uh, he's getting 14 hours for a night shift. Yeah, yeah, for a night shift. And for a morning shift, how much is the pay? So the morning shift is 12 pounds okay okay uh, so in night shift also uh, like we get uh we eat like there is voluntarily extra time so if you want to do like 20 hours you can do it like yeah. you can take two two hours every day extra time so you mm -hmm. can complete your 20 hours as well okay so he's been working in uh, amazon and uh, uh, up till now from he started in november and he's still working there and uh, other than that, um, applying for part times and getting reje rejection is one thing. Many people do get a part time easily. That's a case too. So we can't surely say that you will get a part time or you will not. It depends on what timing are you applying. As I said, apply earlier when you come here. Just grab one part time and keep working in that. That's the one thing. And um, uh, yeah, I will suggest you one thing like wherever you go just try to find out the agencies like i am hired through an agency called ledeco which uh, like it's a hr company who basically provides man for the human resources to amazon mm -hmm. so there are many recruitment companies like pmp and all so just search on google and come okay. so it will be easy for you guys so concluding this video about the overall experience we all three feel and uh, starting from you i'll stop doing it uh, what is your experience? Was it worth spending like 30 lakhs or whatever the money in Cranfield? No, I didn't spend 30 lakhs. <laughs> I only spent uh, 20 lakhs here. Why? Tell them why. Uh, uh, I'm from VIT Valor and uh, if you are from VIT Valor, then VIT has uh, signed a MOU with Cranfield University. So for every courses, I guess uh, 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 VIT gets 25% uh, scholarship. Yeah. So. I didn't know this uh, before applying to Cranfield. I knew this after applying. So yeah, the experience is good. Uh, what I really like about uh, the education system here is whatever we are learning here, whatever we are applying in assignments, the same thing we'll be doing in our uh, jobs, uh, whatever job we'll be doing, the projects uh, uh, in the companies will be the same of what we are actually learning here. So yes, it's been a great learning experience. The uh, case studies, the guest lectures um, are really experienced people. So yeah, uh, I'm really liking the experience. Everything is going great. Uh, I really feel like uh, yeah, the the ROI will be great. Okay. And what about you? You are from different coast, right? Uh, what was your course? MIS, right? <laughs> <laughs> how many months? Uh, how many months? Uh, 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 <laughs> MIS, manufacturing engineer, management engineering. Uh, man, manage. <laughs> MIS. 
good college life but you will experience a good university like good quality university life because it's just a post grad university you will feel like uh, what do you call it you will feel like you are in a professional place where you have to be professional about everything like for attending lectures also you have to be professional mm-hmm. so in this uni you won't feel like a undergrad college or something it's more over more focused on professional thing because the usp of grant is different it's a research college so it's very good like you make some connections as well yeah so i think like the money we spend for the it's basically for the connections yeah, yeah so experience was good so like to the roi like are you happy yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously like so right now i'm working on a group project for a company called bam neutral it's a construction company so i don't think so in a, in a, any other university they will make you work for any company yeah yeah so this this is the reason why i like cranfield like you make real connection mm-hmm. in the industry which you want to yeah work so also like uh, whenever we talk to our friends who are in different universities like yeah. nottingham ucl or um, anywhere else uh, we feel like uh, uh, the exposure that we get here um, uh, is very uh, superior to other universities and also um the the professional the professional life here uh, the um, the kind of um, um, assignments we get the kind of projects we get uh, that really makes a difference yeah and for me uh, other than the social life and keeping that aside and um, the internship for mim uh, was it really worth it yeah i mean last year many great companies came like uh, coca cola came and then kodak came and with some uh, really good package as well they were paying for the internship they were paid internship as well as unpaid internship so in internship i don't mind being unpaid but this time uh, there wasn't very great companies uh, many were startups and all were unpaid many most of them were unpaid and uh, I was expecting a little bit more good companies from Cranfield but it's fine we are having an internship which no other uh, colleges are offering to us and only Cranfield offered the 3 month internship program uh, so yeah if you can source your own internship that's also a plus point if you want to uh, you know uh, find your own internship via LinkedIn and all you can find your own internship and Cranfield will help you uh, with that and so yeah and one month in spain we are going to spain on april 24th and uh, i'll be showing you guys about the life in spain obviously and uh, that's also the plus point for my mam students so overall i am liking it i have no regrets of choosing tanfield uh, so hope i answered all your questions and uh, i'll list down all our instagram profiles down so you guys can follow us and if you guys have more questions just write in the comment box i'll try answering them all till then see you bye 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 guys